going to teach you a posture today that incorporates a lot of strength and it's really going to be foundational to you getting your headstand and it's called headstand prep. So I'll teach you headstand prep. So if you don't have a headstand within your practice, but someday you want to get there, this posture will really help you get there. And then I'll show you how to transition, a few ways how to transition from headstand prep into full headstand. So, and not tripod headstand, but a full headstand. So you're just gonna come to all fours. Keep bringing your shoulders above your wrists. You're just gonna turn your smiles. It looks like I'm double jointed, but I promise I'm not. You're just gonna turn the smiles of your, of your elbows forward just a little bit, that inside part of your elbows forward. And then you're just gonna lower your elbows to the ground. Okay, that's really gonna help the shoulder strength that you'll need in headstand. A lot of times people think that headstand is just in your head. The actual headstand, you find a lot of balance um, and strength to hold yourself up within this kind of pyramid triangle shape that you make with your elbows and your forearms. So you're kind of pressing into the ground with your shoulders so your shoulders help stabilize you. So bring your elbows back down. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna grip your upper arms with your hands. Okay, if your elbows are far apart, you're not gonna be able to find the balance and you're not gonna be able to um, get the full benefit of the posture. So bring your elbows in. Okay, finding that proper distance where you can grip onto your upper arms. And then keeping your elbows in, you're just gonna make a little basket with your hands. So weaving your fingers together. And then you're gonna find that sweet spot on the top of your head where it doesn't really hurt your neck. If you're too far forward, if you're too far forward or too far back, you're gonna feel it a lot in your neck. So if you need to, you can come out of it, press into your head a little bit until you find, until you find that sweet spot that doesn't hurt your neck. If you feel it a lot in your neck, um, you haven't found that sweet spot. So just come out of it, find that other, find that spot where it's not going to hurt your neck. All right, so gripping your fingers together, making a little basket for your head, you're just gonna come onto the top of your head. Okay, finding the sweet spot. Maybe you can kind of press into the ground a little bit, find the sweet spot with your head, moving forward and backward. And then you're going to press into the ground with your shoulders. So pressing your elbows into the ground, engaging your shoulders, lifting your belly, and breathing here for five. Squeeze and press. Four. Three. Two. And one, this time you're gonna tuck your toes into the mat, bringing your toes to the mat, squeeze into the mat with your shoulders, pressing your elbows and your forearms into the ground, keeping your elbows close together, and you're just gonna inhale, lift your knees off the ground, pressing into the ground with your shoulders, five breaths, five. Four, lift your belly, press into the ground, you can do it, that's three. Two more breaths. One more. And lower down, coming onto your knees. Maybe sitting up, taking a little bit of a break. If you feel lightheaded, you can stop there. Um, or if you're feeling nauseous, maybe, I don't know, you can go throw up and come back. But sometimes when our bodies aren't used to things like inversions, um, we're forcing our body and our heart to pump to pump our blood differently. So sometimes we get little side effects like nausea or lightheadedness. If that's the case, you can just stop, listen to your body. Don't push your body past the point that it shouldn't be pushed. So find that uncomfortable spot where you can grow and where you'll progress, but don't go past that point where you're gonna injure yourself. So from that, we're gonna come back into that posture and then we're gonna walk our feet in just a little bit more and come into headstand prep. So bring your elbows down. Okay, maybe gripping your arms, checking to make sure your distance is right, popping your head. And as you inhale, lift your knees off. From here, headstand prep. If this is all you can do, just try to straighten your leg. And then you're just gonna try to walk your feet in towards your body. Trying to bring your hips over your head, press in, keep your legs straight, lift your belly, four more breaths. Headstand prep, three more breaths. 
two, keeping your elbows close together. One more. And lowering back down, coming up. Good, so if you do those few exercises every single day, you'll be able to eventually build up the strength and the endurance to come into full headstand. So I'm gonna show you how to transition from headstand prep into headstand. If you'd like to join me, you can. If not, just hold it in headstand prep. Lift your belly, press into the ground with your shoulders, okay? And just breathe. You can do anything for five breaths. So find your way back into headstand prep. Okay, walk your feet in as much as you can and transition into headstand pretty soon as you walk your feet in. Your feet will just naturally lift off the ground. So you kind of rock forward and your feet will lift off. Okay, I kind of did my next posture already for you. So as you walk your feet closer, your, as your hips come closer, as your hips come over your head, your body will naturally have your feet lift off the ground. It's a little bit of a terrifying feeling at first. When you overcome that fear, don't panic. Just kind of feel, maybe rock your feet forward, rock your hips over your head and feel your feet lift off the ground. Just play around with that and feel that. And um, pretty soon you'll be able to overcome the fear to lift up into headstand. So, um, that's one modification you can do if you have headstand prep already and you feel like you want to go a little bit more into that but you don't want to go to full headstand, you can just practice, you know, lifting your feet off the ground. You never want to kick up into headstand or handstand, anything like that. It's very unsafe. You could injure yourself or, I don't know, injure the wall or injure the person next to you. So you always want to lift. So lift with your belly, walk your feet as close to your body as you can and then feel your hips kind of go over your head um, and do that. I'm going to show you one more modification that you can do and it's bringing knees into your chest and that helps you get the core strength to pretty soon lift up into headstand. So find your way into headstand prep again. Inhale your knees up. Again, as you walk your feet in and maybe you don't have the strength to lift off, you'll bring one knee into your chest. Okay, maybe dropping that knee, bringing the other knee in. Okay, and then maybe, just maybe, bringing both knees in. Hugging your knees in really nice and tight. Not lifting up, but just hugging your knees in, lifting with your belly. And then that will help you get the core strength to lift up into headstand. So if you do those practices, Every, those practices and few exercises every single day, you'll be able to pretty soon lift up into headstand. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.